In this video, we're going to go over how to calculate the standard deviation for a sample. We have the equation here, the square root of the sum of each x minus x bar squared over n minus 1. In this example, I use four numbers for the sample, 2, 5, 9, and 12. You're going to have cases where the numbers aren't going to be as pretty, or they're going to be deviated where you're going to get a lot of decimals. That's okay. The important thing here is that you're understanding the process. Having taught the class, that's really the most important thing here is you understand the process so it doesn't matter what numbers are thrown your way. First thing we have to do is calculate x bar, which is the sum of each x over n. So we have 2 plus 5 plus 9 plus 12 over 4, which is 28 over 4, which gives you 7. So x bar, the mean, is 7. The next thing is to calculate, probably the hardest part in this entire process, is just the summation of each x minus x bar squared. So we get each one of our numbers, 2, 5, 9, and 12, and we subtract x bar from each of them individually and then add them up. So we have 2 minus 7 squared plus 5 minus 7 squared plus 9 minus 7 squared plus 12 minus 7 squared. Simplifying that, we have negative 5 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 5 squared. And when you take two negatives and multiply them each other like we have with a negative 5 squared or negative 2 squared, it ends up becoming positive. So we have 25 plus 4 plus 4 plus 25, which yields 58. And so now that we have all this information, it's just a matter of plugging it back into the formula. So just plugging this into the formula, we have the square root of 58 over n minus 1, which is the square root of 58 over 4 minus 1, which is the square root of 58 over 3. And it yields a 4.397. Uh, if you did find this helpful, please like and subscribe. More videos like this will be posted, and I'll basically be going through an intro to stats course, and then beyond that, uh, as more videos are coming out. Thanks for joining me, and stay nerdy, my friends.